my name is Amber Baim. I'm a family nurse practitioner at the Community Health Center of Yavapai. So what that means is I see patients uh, across the lifespan, so anywhere from newborn babies to patients that are hundreds of years old, um, and I treat uh, various conditions, chronic conditions like diabetes, high blood pressure, chronic pain, or acute conditions like when you have a sore throat or you've hurt your foot. So I take care of people of all ages um, across the lifespan for different kinds of health problems. So in my career, I get to use a lot of different skills on a daily basis. So everyone who's a nurse practitioner has the basic science skills, anatomy and physiology, pharmacology of like how medications work or how to prescribe them. Um, but beyond that, I also get to use like interpersonal communication skills, um, how I talk with my patients, how I understand what my patients are telling me. Um, I also get the opportunity to use math, um, which you might not think of that you use a lot, but in like calculating like different dosages for medications. And so in my career, I really get a good diverse uh, utilization of different um, pieces of skill set in regards to like math, science, technology. So in my position, we, I get the opportunity to work on a lot of different problems in a small way and like in a larger scale way as well. So like on a smaller level, um, within the community here, we work to help like manage disease to help improve health of individuals, which improves health of families, which improves health of communities. So I think the thing that I enjoy most about my work is the people that I get to work with and care for and those relationships that I've gotten to build. So I've worked here in this clinic for five years. And so over that time, I've gotten to know not just patients, but <clears throat> their kids, their parents, right? Like it's this community of people that we all kind of now know each other. We're all working together towards similar health goals. And so it's not just one person with a health problem one day. It's this greater community um, feeling of like what we're working toward as a group of people. Um, I think that's really powerful. It's really motivating and it gives me a passion to come to work to every day. And even if it's a hard day or there's a lot of difficult situations or things that we have to deal with as part of that, there's this global idea of like we're all working toward a better good for everybody. Um, and so that keeps me motivated and passionate about the work that I'm doing. Okay, so to finally be a family nurse practitioner, um, there was a very, there were varying levels of education that I had to obtain on my path to being here. Um, so at the very beginning, right, have to have a high school diploma. And then I wasn't sure that I wanted to be a nurse, so I kind of ended up in social work first. Um, so I have a bachelor's degree in social work. And then I decided, oh, that's not quite it. I'm missing the science part of, of being a caregiver. And so then I got a bachelor's of science in nursing. Um, and then to be a nurse practitioner, there's a couple different options. You can have a master's level of education, or you can get a doctorate degree, or you can get a master's and then a doctorate. Um, I went directly from having a bachelor's degree to a doctorate degree. Um, so over six years, I took additional training in like caring for patients, research, um, to finally end up with a terminal degree in nursing to be a family nurse practitioner. If you wanted to be a nurse practitioner, where should you start? So I think first of all, um, having some hands-on experience with either like requesting to job shadow someone. Um, most nurses, nurse practitioners, we are very invested in people. We're happy to have somebody job shadow with us to kind of see like, well, what is your job actually like on a day-to-day -day basis? Um, so first of all would be request a job shadow. So you could actually like see what people do the day in, day out, hour by hour of their day versus just a vague idea of, okay, they help people, great. Um, and then also like looking for opportunities to get some like hands-on experience, whether that's like volunteering with the hospice, like volunteering at the hospital, um, even though you can't do clinical things in that role, just kind of being more around the healthcare environment to see like, well, what does this look like? What are the people here doing? Does that look like something that I would like to spend my time doing? Um, so just getting a good introduction to somebody who's doing what you think you want to do, seeing what their day-to-day -day is really like, and then looking for some opportunities to put yourself in those situations so you can see what the day-to-day -day activities really entail. My name is Amber Bain. I'm a family nurse practitioner with the Community Health Center of Yavapai. If you'd like to have your students learn more about being a family nurse practitioner, reach out to me on Educator Pro Connect.